I've carried a lot of things through from, you know, that I had already explored in previous work, like um, uh, Unrequited Love, um, or even just the the, um, the, the subject of, uh, of difference, of being different, the, the, the people who fit, the people who don't fit um, in society. You know, even if it's not at the core of the film, I, I guess mothers, uh, sons, uh, I guess we just wanted to tone everything down. I mean, you know, André Turpin, the cinematographer, and Colomb Rabhi, uh, uh, um, production designer whom I've worked with since the very beginning. Uh, well, not since the very beginning, but for like years. It was just really important for us to uh, feel a certain change and just have an approach that was just more down to earth and um, just more pastel uh, in our palette. These are two words that just feel really stupid in my mouth right now, but uh, yeah, a more pe a pastel palette. Yeah, to just feel uh, that the things would just be more simple and more realistic, I guess, than, than curating a whole world where you have all the tapestry and all the, the curtains and all the everything's dark and everything's dim and everything's beautiful and it has to be pretty and it has to be perfect. We just wanted to um, reacquaint ourselves with, with the notion that certain things are nice left either untouched or just in their raw state. Maxim is just, it's just the type of character that I, that, you know, that I'll play in my own films. Uh, if I look at everything, at all the characters that I've played in my movies, it's just, it, it's, you know, he's, I, 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 I wouldn't cast myself um, as, uh, as, as Matt. Uh, because he's just so overly confident, and he's he's successful, and he's tall, and he's wearing suits, and I would never take myself seriously in a, in a, in a, in a part like that. I prefer the, the shy guys. Yeah, the shy guys. I I um I'll do anything anyone asks me if I'm not if I'm only in front of the camera. But in in my own work, uh, I I'm shy guys always. Well, to be fair, we had a chemistry from the we had we already had a chemistry from the get go because we're we're best friends in life. Um, we're not those friends, uh, those characters, but we but we are friends. We've been friends for a long time, and um, a lot of our inside jokes and, and a lot of who we are landed in that film. Can is uh, where I was born as an artist. It's where everything started for me. So obviously, it it it, it has a special place uh, in my heart. But it, it but but it also makes it hard for me to uh, to um, categorize or label as work anything that happens there, and to um, keep a sort of distance. It's just hard not to make everything that happens there personal. Uh, but uh, a lot of beautiful things have happened, mostly beautiful things have happened. Can for me, it remains a place of, of discovery, self-discovery and uh, the discovery of other artists. I think that, in fact, uh, and in part because of the festival and thanks to the festival and everything that's happened there, um, I've come to terms with the notion that films that a film has to be good or bad uh, or impressive uh, or has to command uh, admiration or respect or really I, I think now that I just want to make movies that matter to certain people for a certain reason and that that's it. That's just more than enough for me. Not because not because I'm lazy and I don't want to evolve. Of course, I want to evolve. I want to grow. I want to be a better artist. But you can feel that sometimes in very um, small details in your work. And if I feel that I've achieved that sort of evolution and progress in even the smallest of ways, then what I mean is that the feeling of validation will come from the feeling that people connected with my work uh, and with what I did. I have a lot of admiration for um, Paul Thomas Anderson. 
Uh, I love his world. Um, I find his world, his worlds, very appealing. Uh, his films can be very different from from one another, but um, it, it, well, there's no but. I actually find that to command uh, admiration and respect. Um, I love when people do different things and when they surprise us, and he always surprises me and takes me on this incredible journey through his intelligence and and vision, and I find that very attractive. <laughs> um, I would live in that world, in his world. Um, and uh, then uh, Claude Sauté, I, 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 I admire Claude Sauté uh, a lot. Uh, well, also because, well, I love all, the, all, 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 all his films, but um, I also love the fact that he coexisted, or did he, with all of the great auteurs and directors from Nouvelle Vague. Um, he wasn't, I don't think he was very appreciated or acknowledged uh, until much later. Uh, but he had nothing uh, to offer that was as flamboyant and smart as, uh, you know, the, the likes of Truffaut and, and Godard. Uh, but his movies were just so incredibly sensitive and intelligent and sincere. And they were flamboyant in their own way. Um, uh, and and had their aesthetic uh, qualities, um, and um, and were formally impressive, but weren't about being impressive, and about the art form. They were just about the storytelling and the characters, and um, and I, th I I I think that they should be admired. Yeah, I first uh, subscribed to Mubi when I was 17. Uh, or No, so it was 17. I had just moved into my first apartment. And uh, it was called The Auteurs then. And um, it was, you know, everything I never had and references that seemed really um, dreamy and, and sort of distant and f from all the films that I had seen growing up. I'm pretty sure, um, actually I know that I discovered, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure that I, yeah, that I discovered um, Apicha Pong's work on movie Tropical Malady. I'm sure I watched that on, uh, on movie Tropical Malady, sorry. Uh, Uncle Boon Me um, and um, so many others. And I remember when I watched, when I discovered Tropical Malady, it was, um, it was just, you know, discovering a whole other way of telling stories, um, uh, not 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 that it was not that it was so different from everything I had I had seen or known, but uh, it was just um, so singularly um, unique and and subtle and mystical and stressed. I think for the first time ever for me, the importance of having style um, and uh, and having soul and doing things your way, uh, which is the only way, I guess.